Hello. So I have a problem. My life has been affected by a little illness that might have turned into a global pandemic. And because of that, I had to move out of my dorm real quick in March. Which, back then, I was optimistic this would be over by now. But, unfortunately, it is not. And I am not going back to school. My fall clothes are now stuck halfway across the country in boxes where I cannot get to them. And so, I need something to wear. Now, usually I like to either thrift or make most of my clothes. I do on occasion buy a piece or two of new clothing, uh, but that is starting to happen less and less as I have started learning about fast fashion and not wanting to be included in participating in that, which has led to me being a lot pickier, which has led to me buying less clothes. Um, so I need to make some things for the fall. A few weeks ago on one of my very infrequent outings, I was in Joanne Fabrics with a friend, just they needed something and I was just dilly-dallying around, and I found this mushroom print cotton, and I just needed it. It needed to be in my life, and I needed to make a puffed blouse shirt out of it, so that's what we're going to do. First off, I needed a pattern. So I decided to trace this dress that had a similar neckline to what I was going for onto some wrapping paper. And here I am just tracing each of those individual sections. I made sure to go over all of my markings in pen so that they were neatened up a little bit and labeling each of them so they didn't get lost or confused. And then I just roughly sketched out some seam allowance. Um, since I knew this was going to be too large anyway, I didn't really care about making it perfect. And here we are tracing it onto a new piece of gift wrap and repeating those steps so that I can add all of my alterations without it getting too messy. I also added a little chunk at the bottom because I knew that the dress sat far above my natural waistline. And here are all the patterns after they've had their alterations. Now to cutting. So one thing that I had to be careful about when I was cutting these out is to make sure that the print was facing the same way, I wanted the mushrooms to all be going up and down. Um, so that took up a little more fabric than I anticipated. So we will see how that goes. And then without a pattern, I also cut out the button plackets and I just marked a rectangle onto my fabric. And of course I had to make a matching mask because, you know. So I'm using this 90s pajama pattern as the base for my sleeves because I just, I really hate sleeves and don't want to draft them and I knew that this one was wide enough to give me a good amount of gathering without it being too over the top. So I just folded up the edge to make it a little shorter and pinned that on.
It was at this point I realized I was almost out of fabric, so that all of my lining was going to have to be on the bias, which was fine, this doesn't need to be a super structured garment, it's okay if it warps a little bit over time. We tried to make sure that we got all the pieces, but since I'm dumb, I cut two of the same piece. So that's really, that was an adventure. So here's me trying to fit all of these pieces onto this tiny scrap of fabric that I have left. I did manage to do it, but I had to cut the back pieces as two separate pieces instead of one big piece that was supposed to be on the fold. So I had to go back and slice open my outside fabric to make sure that the seam allowance lined up and the lining wasn't smaller than the outside, which was fine because I knew this wasn't going to fit. Okay, so this is my first draft all put together, and as you can see, it does not fit well. It's really damn wide. Like, this needs to be taken in quite a bit. So I haven't decided if I'm going to angle this piece. I'll try to get it to sit flat like that and give it more of a curve here or if I'm just gonna try to take out a little chunk here, and maybe that'll fix it. But it's pretty loose, so I'm not too concerned about making it tight, and I knew that is what it was going to be like when I started, but I kinda want it to sit there, so I have all of this extra space right there, which is not ideal to say the least. Um, I'm considering sewing it together so I have a better idea of how it will actually fit with the correct seam allowances and stuff. So I folded, I didn't cut it, but I pinned the two front pieces about an inch over from the edge so it has a really big seam allowance. And that fixed most of my problems. It pulled these not quite where I want them, but much closer. So I think if I do that, that will pretty much fix it. But I'm still having, oops, still having this armpit issue. So I think adding a dart here will be the way to go and get it to lay nice and flat. So hopefully there will be no other problems. So then I just trimmed off the excess from those center pieces so that I didn't have a ridiculous amount of seam allowance in the middle. And I used that as a pattern to alter my lining pieces as well as the other front panel so that everything was nice and symmetrical. Alrighty, so it is now sewn together instead of just pinned, and I think this gives me a much better idea of what I am working with, um, especially since I'm not being stabbed constantly, so I have more thinking power. I really think that if I just do a dart there, it'll be pretty good. Um, there's definitely, hmm, by the way, 
there's definitely some space in the back. I don't know if you can see how well that is coming across, but I can fix that after I do the dart, because that's an easy thing I can just take in. So I'm going to turn this inside out, pin some darts, mark it on my lining, and do another fitting. So here is both the outside and the lining all constructed and pressed nicely so they can be pinned together. So as I'm sewing these together, I'm leaving the arm size open so that I can insert my sleeve between the two layers of fabric because I didn't have enough to line the sleeves completely and finish it off that way. Um, so hopefully this works. I wasn't quite sure going into it. And yes, I know I'm sewing over pins, and that is a big no-no, but I don't care. It's easier. And then I'm just going through and trimming off all of the little threads that have happened from handling this so much. and trimming any seam allowances that I need to. And now it can be turned inside out. So then I went around the whole thing and pinned the edges so that they're laying nice and flat only because I don't trust myself to be doing this adjustment with a hot iron next to me. I have scarred myself before, so we're doing it ahead of time. And now we can go ahead and attach those button plackets. I'm using a strip of interfacing to give them some structural integrity, but besides that I'm just kind of sewing it on like bias tape. I don't know if anything I do is correct, by the way. I just kind of do it. I'm self-taught and this is the method that I'm doing and I will not be taking criticism because it ended up working. And that is repeated on the other side.
This is a clip from earlier, I just wanted to spread them out a little bit. And here are the button plackets all pressed, and how I'm going to sew them down is basically just do an understitching, I think is the correct term. So I'm pinning, I'm turning over the edges and pinning them so that when I stitch in the ditch between the other, on the other side, they hopefully get secured. I don't have the most faith in myself for this method, but it's the best way I could come up with. So it is mostly constructed, minus the sleeves and buttons, but the button placket is sewn on, and it's just pinned closed for now, um, and I'm pretty happy with the fit. It's not perfect, there's some gapping, gaping, gapping, up at my shoulders and here. Um, I think that's my fault though, it's really slightly too wide, um, but it honestly doesn't bother me that much. I think it gives it an interesting look. Um, and I can pull it down in the front and it fixes a little bit and then I have some gaping here instead. Um, but I think it's fine. I think it's what it is for a first attempt and now it's time to get the sleeves and buttons on and finish it up. So I did end up taking it in a little bit at the shoulders just to get it to lay a little flatter and that worked. So here are the sleeves all nice and gathered and then the cuffs are getting sewn on. And I'm doing the same thing with these cuffs as I did with the button plackets, just kind of flipping them inside out and under stitching so that the edges are nice and hidden away. Now for the worst part, sewing on the sleeves. So I just took some contrasting thread to gather it down so I could easily pick that out later. Um, yellow is just what I had on hand, so that is what we went with. For some reason these gave me so much trouble, I'm usually pretty good at gathering things down to whatever length they need to be. I make a lot of skirts that are gathered like that, um, but for some reason I just couldn't get the gathers even or couldn't get them to lay nicely within the arm side and it was just a whole mess. I eventually got it to work but it was a pain in my ass and that's why I hate sleeves. And we're done! Please ignore the fact that I got a haircut in between filming the intro and now, 
but um, here is the top on. It still isn't perfect, it's still a little wide across the chest, but I think it's pretty good and it is a wearable mock-up and I made the alterations to the pattern so that I could make some more later. Um, yeah, so enjoy my little fashion show. Thank you so much for watching my first ever YouTube video. I hope it was okay and not too cringy, but I guess we'll find out soon. Like and subscribe, I guess. Okay, bye.